Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to be examining the dankest memes from the dank memes from uh, Site19 subreddit. New anomaly is discovered. SCP Foundation. Let's sprite and study it. I'm not really sure what they meant to say there. Let's sprite. <laughs> is sprite and study the new Netflix and chill? I don't know, but okay. Let's sprite and study it. <laughs> GOC, a great place for our nuclear test. I mean, that sounds like the GOC to me. The classical version of the GOC, anyway. They're very much about the, uh, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, okay. God, I don't know how many times I can say this. I say it over and over again. I probably, this is a problem. The GOC being a, you know, reflection of the SCP Foundation is fine and all, but sometimes the GOC has a point. The SCP Foundation keeps things in containment that shouldn't be in containment that should be eliminated that could easily be eliminated and they just don't do it so you know that i saw this one dr sumerian's latest dank memes video has 3451 views this sub has 182,216 members i mean i appreciate it friend but people are gonna watch what people are gonna watch if they i'm i i make do with lower numbers on any on any given video by just producing a lot of videos in a given month and by a lot i mean it's eight or nine per month but no it's seven to nine per, per month depending on how many days are in the month and on what days they fall but so while well, 3400 i would like to have better views and right now views are down for sure um that doesn't mean that i'm necessarily doing that poorly i'm still surviving um as a channel and i'm working on some stuff that's going to get better but i do appreciate that you would like more people to uh watch my videos so if you want to share with other people share with other people I'd i very much appreciate it thank you but you don't have to force anyone to read to watch it's fine now it feels when an author is critiqued because their SCP object concept doesn't have a strong narrative. Unfortunately, we will not be publishing your cancer research in our scientific paper as the report lacks clear pot elements, plot elements, and pot elements. That's not what I meant to say. And no satisfying twists. So I feel like this one's a little off the mark, honestly. Uh, and I say that because, first of all, a cancer uh, research paper is not supposed to have a strong narrative. An SCP article is supposed to have the, um, what's the word? Verisimilitude. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to seem realistic, but it also has to be entertaining. And when we talk about the difference between um, an SCP article and an actual scientific paper, that's the main difference. A scientific paper is not meant to be entertaining, it's meant to be informative. But moreover, when we talk about the difference, and this is, this I remember reading this in the comments about how they believe uh, strongly that narratives are not, or not necessarily, I don't think this person said it, but this is the inclination they're trying to give here, that a narrative isn't important. That it's better to just have simple, basic, uh anomalous objects but the problem is is we have so many of them right the reason why people s will suggest and it's not a requirement you don't have to have it but the reason why they suggest a strong narrative with a twist or you know clear plot elements and all these other things is because it allows you to have more variety the problem is, is that your basic uh your basic bro uh, SCP object is, you know, kind of basic, man. So you're going to have to have something a little bit more complex or else I'm bored with it already. And it's not that long. So if I'm bored with it before I even get through one or half of the first paragraph, then you got to have to work better and make it more interesting. Work better. That's great. And uh, I'm saying this as somebody who has ranted for about mm, two minutes, three minutes now about this particular topic when they probably could have said as a very in a very simpler way. But it's true of your SCP articles. It's like a what's the best way to explain this? It's kind of like a pattern. Uh, you can have a simple pattern that is useful, but there's only so many simple patterns you can have 
before you run out of, you know, original ideas or I should say original designs. But if you make the pattern more complex, you can have an infinity of complex designs. So add a narrative, man. Just stop boring people with the same stuff over and over again. Dr. Bright, have mercy, please. In real life, Dr. Bright. Okay, revised list. I didn't know this was a thing, actually. For some reason, I thought that the people were still adding to the Bright's list, of, to the list of things Bright are not allowed to do anymore. But I guess it's been closed. Am I wrong? You know what? You're going to find out right alongside me. The list of things Bright... There we go. I thought it'd get me there. Nope. That just gave me a list of things that are bright. Hold on. SCP. <laughs> things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the foundation. Uh, it's an adult content, so definitely don't click through. No, you're not allowed to edit it. How long has it been like that? I guess it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, yeah, like I said, I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah. No more additions are being allowed. How long has it been like that? I don't know. I'd have to look through all the revisions. Anyway, it's probably for the best. Using standard object classes for an SCP object. Using the ACS for an object class. I feel like the true galaxy brain uh, is using no object class at all, but using the ACS disruption class when describing incidents concerning an anomaly to better understand the severity of said event. Good use of object classes. One of the problems we have, or I should say disruption classes, but... One of the main problems I have with object classes is that it, you know, doesn't really tell you all that much, but including things like the ACS stuff, which includes disruption classes, object classes, and a whole bunch of other stuff, is useful because it actually tells you something about the object. And and then you can use that further on. Like, what is disruption class? What does it mean when you're describing the object later on? Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Why haven't you hit the subscribe button yet? What's wrong with you? Is there something wrong with me? Have I done something wrong? Hit the subscribe button. And then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. Uh, I very much appreciate these uh, uh, Patreon backers. Um, without them, I would not be able to continue making content. Period. End of story. So thank you very much for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.